Hello and welcome to the part 2 of our 18th tutorial about the Simple Snake game. Uh, we left here, the, we finished the last tutorial here and we, are, we need to uh, print the snake's head that's uh, defined by x and y coordinates and the fruit on the map. So instead of just uh, printing a blank space, we are going to check if the i that's the um, that's the height is equal to y coordinate and the j is gonna equal to um, uh, x coordinate and if that's so we are going to print the head and the head will be a big o else we are going to um else we're just going to yeah print uh, the space uh but we also need one else if it's um if j is if uh, i is equal to fruit y coordinate and if um j is equal to fruit x coordinate you're going to print the fruit, and now the fruit is going to be F. So let's try it now. As you see, there's our head, and this is our fruit. So it works. Now let's get um, on the input. So uh, the input is a little bit different. Uh, we need to include a library. <coughs> it's conio. H. Conio. H. Console input output. Uh, it has uh, two functions that we're gonna use. Those are asynchronous functions. They don't block the program. Um, it's a function for getting a character from a console window. So we first need to check if the keyboard key is pressed so we do this if kb hit this will return a boolean um, it will uh, return a positive um, number if uh, a character on the keyboard is pressed and if nothing is pressed it's gonna return zero and the next thing we're gonna check um, is the <coughs> get ch and that will return our ASCII value of our character that was pressed. So we're gonna switch this and by doing that we're gonna move our snake on um, V, A, S and D so V is up, uh, w, w is up a is um, uh, left, uh, S is right, and D um, no, no. Uh, D is uh, right, and S is down. So we're gonna do this case. Um, we press A. Let's break it, and we're gonna say the direction is going to be equal left. In case um, it's um, uh, it's D, it's going to be right. And in case it's W, it's going to be up. And in case it's uh, S, it's going to be down. Also, we can add the case Q or X. X is better. And in case it's X, we're going to terminate the game. So we set the game over to true and break the switch here. So this will handle the controls. Um, now we need to move um, to the logics part and this is a little bit, this may be a little bit confusing. Uh, so we first need to switch the um, direction um, we're gonna switch the direction variable, uh, it's dear. Oh, uh, we're gonna switch the direction and it kind of does this for us uh, simply, automatically, Visual Studio is smart. 
but we're gonna delete the stop one. So if we go left, um, we are going to um, decrease our uh, x coordinate of a snake. So x minus minus. If you go right, we're gonna increase the x value. If you go up, we are going to decrease epsilon value, and if we go down, we are going to increase it. Default, nothing will happen, and that's basically it. So when we run a program, if we press, uh, if we press uh, D, it works. But I guess we have something here that's not good, or maybe it is. Um, if we press A, it goes left, it goes through a wall, and it goes somewhere. And if we press S, it doesn't do anything, so we have a problem with with uh, S, I guess. S is direction down and direction up. So, um, <laughs> I guess there's a simple problem here. Nothing too much. Let's see the draw function. Probably it's not drawing correctly. Let's check it out. So, um, epsilon j is x. It kind of looks okay. It goes left, it goes right, but it doesn't go up or down. Yeah. Here is our little bug. Oh, no, no, no. This is okay. Huh. Interesting enough. I don't really know. Let's uh, put the breakpoint here and debug our program if we change the direction at all. So if you press up, yep, the direction changed. But we don't see any movement, so why is that happening? Hmm, interesting. Um, let's try again up. Yep, the direction is already up. As you can see. Oh yeah, nah, this is a simple error. You see, um, we said case up and we broke the switch. But then we executed the command, and that's not good. So the command should be above the break. I didn't see it immediately. So this will be our oh, yeah, the breakpoint. This will be our basic movement. So it goes up, right, down, left, right. It works. We go over the fruit, nothing happens. As you can see, nothing happens. We go out of the map nothing happens. Uh, so we can add something in the logic. So if uh, to set the game over to true, so we're going to terminate the game if we go out of the map with our head. So our head uh, has the x and uh, y coordinates and the um, x coordinate, um, if it's um, greater than the width of the map um, or um, if the x is smaller uh, than zero we are going to um, say that it's game over also we can um, check if the y coordinate is uh, smaller than uh, is greater than the height of the map or the y is um, smaller than zero, it's gonna be game over. So when we hit the wall or go out of the bounds of the map, the game will terminate. So whoop, you see, game terminates. You see, game terminates. We go out of the map, game terminates. Pretty much does the thing. Um, so this handles the movement inside the map. And the logic uh, function, we also need um, to um, do something else, and that will be uh, if we eat the fruit, 
we increase our tail size but now we currently don't have a tail so we can only increase the score so let's check if we eat the fruit so if x coordinate is equal to x uh, fruit x coordinate and our y coordinate is equal to fruit y coordinate we can increase the score for now and spawn our fruit on the on the another location so the score is going to be equal plus 10 and we can copy this code from the setup function that will randomly place the fruit somewhere on the map and this will it will enable us to eat the fruit we currently don't see the score but we can print it and we're gonna do that in the draw function currently but as you can see it works so here we're gonna print score and we're gonna print the score right line as you can see when we eat something we increase our score and but I hit the wall so the game terminated okay um, here we will we will finish this tutorial in the, ter in the third one we are going to add the key part of the snake game and that's the tail and that will be the uh, probably the last tutorial about this simple game um, as you can see it's um, not too big it has has about 100 lines of code but um, you can uh, we, we will add this and uh, probably it will be about 200 lines of code, maybe less, even less. Um, if you have any questions, please uh, ask them in the comments or uh, send me a message in the inbox. I will try to answer it if I have time. And thanks for watching this tutorial. Uh, please subscribe and see you in the next part.